Okay, so riv nuts. Brilliant little things. Basically a rivet with a, uh, a thread on the inside and you can use that to fasten panels or brackets onto cars or anything. If you need an instant thread and you don't want to weld a captive nut, next best thing, riv nut. But how do we uh, how do we mount them without using a special riv nut tool? I'll show you. If you can go and find riv nut tools on eBay and Amazon for like 50 bucks, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, you get what you pay for and what happens is um, basically the tool is like a rivet, riv normal rivet gun um, but it has a screw on thread so you screw the riv nut on and then you you squeeze your your lever and it pulls the thread through and tightens it up around the hole now the problem is with those cheap tools the actual thread the tooling part the thread that they use to, to pull the rivet nut up is um, low quality material so what happens is you squeeze them up you've got to squeeze them quite tight to get a good firm uh, fit otherwise these actually start to spin in a hole and they become useless so you need to squeeze them up quite tight but what happens is people squeeze them up too tight and the uh, the tool breaks off the end get yourself a bolt it needs to be a good length it's got to be long enough to wind all the threads on of the riv nut so you want it to sit flush at the end you need to wind a, a nut on there it's better not to put a nylon lock on um, the nut the bigger the nut with more thread you have the better because you're going to put quite a bit of pressure on that little nut let's get yourself a bolt that's long enough you need to have it flush with the threads at the end of the riv nut but you also need a space and then what you do is you make yourself one of these now it's just a like two mil 2.2 mil plate can be even bigger doesn't matter um, but you don't need it too big you need quite a bit of length because you've got to hold this in your hand and you're basically doing three things with your hands at once so what you do wind your nut on up to the top of your bolt my tool was made for three different sizes my three three uh, main sizes i use put the tool on between the nut and the bolt and then screw the riv nut onto the end as i say try and use all the threads that are in the riv nut because you're going to put quite a bit of pressure on those as well and that is it then go to your workpiece basically what we're going to do is hold the tool down you're going to put a spanner on a nut and then obviously with your allen key or your other spanner on the top you're going to hold the top so you've got to hold this bolt still and what we're going to do is wind that nut on now the reason we have the tool in is a so you've got another way of pushing the riv nut down you've got to make sure the riv nut seated in the hole hard up against its surface but you also need to provide something for that nut to slide around on so we put the plate in the middle it just gives it something to slide around on basically when you wind that nut down all it can do you're winding the nut down the thread all it can do is push or pull the thread up on the riv nut which closes the gap fits it in a hole simple cheap ingenious um, the worst thing you're going to do if you do it too hard you're going to break the bolt or you're going to thread it which is quite common but you know what a few uh, few threaded bolts is a lot cheaper than buying $50 riv nut guns that last you so long anyway we will go over to my workpiece and uh, we'll show you how we're gonna make this work all right so here's my workpiece um, so I've got bolt nut screwed up the thread has doesn't have to be a nylon lock got my little tool um, you can make it a bit longer because this one's just short it's a bit hard to uh, hold on to but I have some tight spaces I need to get into screw the rivnut onto the end um, make sure you're covering all the threads using all the threads in the rivnut because they get quite a bit of abuse in this way also uh, I squirt a bit of silicon lube on the uh, on the nut and thread hopefully that will stop me threading the uh, the bolt which does happen with this way but as I said cheaper to uh, replace a nut and a bolt than it is 
a rib nut gun with a broken tool. So, spanner on, hold it down, and basically you, you wanna put your spanner on, ratchet on top, or a spanner. It's good to have a ratchet because you can really push your rivet down into the uh, into the hole, make sure it's sealed properly. And then basically what we're doing, push it down. And just wind in the spanner and try and hold everything as straight as you can. As you can see with this hand, I've got the ratchet in one hand and I'm holding on to my tool with my thumb and my fingers at the bottom. Pushing it down, that silicon spray makes it a lot easier. And then just start winding the nut down. Basically what you're doing is, as you're winding the nut, the nut down, it's pulling the rib nut up by its thread, squeezing it up and giving it, giving it a good tight fit into the hole. So you just keep winding and you'll feel it nip up. As soon as you start to feel it nip up, stop, because you don't want to overdo it, you can overdo these, and you'll either wreck the rib nut, or you uh, thread the, uh, the nut and bolt that you're using as well. Get it all tighten up nice and easy. That sort of spray is a definite must, it makes it so much easier. And there we go, just feel it nipping up now. All right, everything is nice and tight, so then we just back, back the hold off, loosen it up. There we go, rib nut on, all looking pretty, pretty groovy. You can also use this to tighten one up, so if you've got one that's in a hole, and it's just not a, it's not tightening up, maybe it's, it's spinning around, um, just hasn't been nipped up enough, so you can pop your tool in and then just give it a couple of turns. And tighten it up. Rib nuts, easy as that. You don't need a $50 tool. Um, you can get away with this. And what's better with these as well, especially when you're working on race cars or, or your car or your boat or whatever you're using it for, with this you can get in a lot tighter spaces. Um, with the tool, when you've got the proper tool, like the rivet, you know, the rivet gun, it looks like a rivet gun. You've got big long handles. Obviously, the better the tools are, they get quite big and bulky, and really hard to fit into tight spaces. So, um, maybe if you've got a tool, but you, you want to put a rivet nut somewhere where you just can't get access, um, this might be a, another solution as well. You just nail a couple of them in. Anyway, there you go. Like and subscribe and uh, follow, and I'll come up with more helpful little uh, tips like that.